Hey guys, welcome back to the Read Bunch. So today, I thought it'd be a good idea because I'm in this process right now, is to show you the condensed version of my wash and go. You ready? Let's get it. First of all, let me start by introducing the products that I use during this time. I use my own flaxseed gel that I make. I'll leave a link in the description box for how to make that. I also use uh, Shea Moisture's Curling Gel Souffle, some grapeseed oil, a spray bottle, and leave-in conditioner of your choice. I prefer a cream, and let me show you which one I'm using today. I am using True Nourishing Leave-In Conditioner. Boom. And it's got Shea, honey, coconut, and mango in it. Bow. First steps up next. For my wash and go, my hair must be like super, super drenched, like I'm sure it needs to for yours. I take a small section just to make sure I have optimum drippage. And in this bottle is water and aloe vera juice to help balance the pH of my hair. Boom, I do that, all right? So then just to help retain some of that moisture, I add just a, boom, you see that little bit of grapeseed oil? I'm trying to make sure I don't drop it. I coat that section in grapeseed oil, boom. Then I take my cream, I know it's so many steps, but it's really, it's really the abbreviated. Not a lot, right? Because it's a very small section. And if I use too much leave-in conditioner, sometimes I get a white, a white kind of cast. So I really put that in there. Bow. See them curls? Boom. Yep, they popping. They popping. All right. So then from there, I use my gel souffle. I use about that much. And the reason you can leave this step out if you choose and just go to your styler or your uh, definer. But I use the gel souffle because it really helps my wash and go be extremely soft. And I like that. About that much gel. You see that? And I just repeat this process all over my whole head. So that is, and my hair has already been deep conditioned and it's been rinsed out, washed, deep conditioned. And this is the process that I go through to do my wash and go. Now, once I've done my whole head, I just let it air dry before I do any stretching. Because you know what I've learned? When I don't let my hair air dry and I just decide to um, band it before it's dry, my, uh, my wash and go never really turns out the way that I want it. So I have to let my hair completely dry before I band it. Why do I band it? Because if I don't, my wash and go is like this long versus being like this long when I do the banding process. All right, so I'm not gonna show you all that today. I'm just showing you my process after I rinse out my deep conditioner. All right, I'm gonna do my whole head and then I'm gonna come back and show you what it looks like when I'm done, all right? But I'm not gonna do that on camera, boom, cause I'm about to go watch my show and I'm gonna do it while I'm sitting down watching my show. All right, and I'm also gonna tell you about how long it takes me to so you can gauge time-wise how much time you need to allot for this particular wash and go process. And sidebar, 4B, 4C hair. Boom. Okay, guys. So this is what it looks like when it's done. You see a little cast of white in it. But as it dries, that will go away. Um, so I'm going to take a picture of the length that it is now. So that you can get a good idea of my shrinkage in general. I mean, it's amazing. But I'm going to take a picture now. And then I'm going to take a picture once it's completely dry. So you can see where it lands when it's done and it's all curly and stuff like that and as it dries I, I'll keep shaking it to keep my curls separated so that it doesn't dry in like lots of clumpies but it dries kind of like with the individual curls like how you see them right there that's how I like it all right guys I try to find some light so I can show you um, my shrink is what it looks like when my hair is completely dry, but also so you can see 
kind of my my curl definition when it's done it's super soft you know that's kind of like the downfall sometimes of wash and goes is you get like major definition but your hair is super crunchy so um that's of course why i include that gel souffle um it took me about 15 maybe 17 minutes to layer my whole head when I was done. I know I would tell you how long it took me. That's about how long it took me. Um, and anyways, it's the very next day. And so from here, of course, if I'm feeling like it, I may just stretch my hair, band it tonight before I go to bed so that I can, it could, you know, just be a little bit longer. But otherwise, this is it. Don't you be mad when they be like wash and go and it's really like wash in 18 steps and then go? Yeah, that's my life. But I love my curl pattern. Um, I love my definition. So I do it. It's super, super easy. Once I've done it, I only need to spray it throughout the week, maybe once or twice with a little bit of aloe vera juice and water just to kind of rehydrate my curls and that's my week it stays like this for a week before I wash it and do it all over again thank you guys for watching this video I hope it wasn't too too many steps but I promise you guys it's worthy worth it I keep super healthy hair this way um, I don't touch it a lot so it's like a super low maintenance hairstyle and it's me it's my natural and I love it it's popping bloop oh yeah um, I'll see you next Wednesday, hopefully, if the Lord is willing and the creek don't rise. Um, yeah, have a happy, happy Wednesday. Bye.